Okay, good day YouTube. Back again. Finally. She's up. Fair amount of wrangling today. A few issues. Uh, first of all, I, uh, I'm going to have to take my racking out of here and just have the bus, I think, because <clears throat> it was okay while I was building the frame, but now I'm actually into the start of the bodywork, well, the last of the framework and then the bodywork. I'm going to run out of room very quickly. So anyway, um, I had to take one of these leader wheels off. I think I mentioned that it was sort of skew if so um, I took the wheel off just so I could get it orientated today. A lot of jacking to get this up. I should have um, jacked the bus up first before I put it on the frame. But anyway, it's all good. Um, slight tilt. I'm a little scared to do it because I'm here by myself and um, I don't really want to go full pelt. I've done some measurements and I'm just about to clip the wall so the top of the bus here is very very close to the wall so um, yeah pretty cool really for me in this little shed to think of where it started and uh, it's um it's starting to take shape so now i've got a bit of cool weather we're going to get back into it and uh there'll be a fair few videos popping up quite regularly i think i just um the other day i think i think i popped the bail on the cover and it's got a leak on the cover now. I don't know if these bail, these um, covers have a rubber seal around them or a, a uh, cork seal. I'm not familiar with these engines at all. So, but I reckon I've just dislodged it slightly because I lifted the engine up and put a starter motor under it, and it stopped the leak. So it's definitely coming from underneath there. So I may be all right. I thought I'd actually crack the case underneath, but um, if anyone's in the know while we're talking about these engines, so this engine is, I, I managed to work it out, it's from a 1961 bus, or Beetle, I was told it was out of a bus, I'm looking at these uh, pipes here and they don't look like they're out of a bus. But you got to buy what you can get sometimes, and that's all I could find around where I am uh, for that period. But, you know, I will keep my eye out, and I prefer an original engine. Um, tell me if anyone's in the know. This is to suit a 1.3 and a 1.5 Beetle. HTK 7B So yeah, this is an original Part So therefore that motor I dare say it'll be fine New leads can't go wrong um, Also got a new uh, Motor this one seems like it's had better days Bearing seems alright, but uh, I've got a better one. Anyway, I'll I'll loosen this off a little and just see. I'll just see how much um, we can tilt this down before I hit the wall. And uh, I don't think it's going to be much, but we'll do it anyway. Fairly simple system here. Just two bolts on either side. I haven't got the other side. 
that's my safety. <laughs> it's a rope. So yeah, very gently. It wants to turn, so I'm pretty close to centre. Um, I tried to go up as far as I could. I'm just letting it go as... I'm watching the wall over here. Oh, it's scary. Geez, I'm pretty close to center. I'll tell you what. This thing's pretty close. I mean, I've got that on a slack. And it's just sort of sitting. It is difficult because I've seen other rotisserie builds. And the center of gravity generally is up around where the emblem is. Um, but... If you look at my bus now, there's no roof, and uh, most of the uh, internals are fairly rusty, so a lot of the weight has gone out of the top of the bus. Um, there's no glass, there's no back door, there's no roof. All of the internal structure, the, as far as the, roof, the floor pans and everything go, they're all missing. So it's very bottom heavy right now. Um, I'll just lock it off and I'll try and get around to the side to show you. I'm not really going to move it on its wheels. I'll see what I can do. Nah, I'm not game. But uh, there she is. I'd like to get in there now, but I think what I'll do tomorrow is try and sort out some room here for myself. Uh, one sec, I'll walk around. So, that's what we're looking at. So the frame is totally there. And that's what I started off these videos with. It's just this frame that I built. And then I attached it's that section. And, um... Attach the front, the back, and just work my way around. So, a lot of this is still just basically, as you can see with the straps, just strapped together. I'll probably end up taking this whole side off now, and the doors, and then uh, work my way around inside. I'll be able to get all this one sorted out. <clears throat> Start working my way up here. This, I'm not happy with this as it sits that railing that I built so probably have another dig at that and uh, yeah um, but it's gonna be great having this thing up on this tilt even if I can only just tilt it like even if I can't spin it all the way around um, if I can go one way and then the other I can always push it out and then bring it back in and uh, just because of the area that I'm in but Apart from that, it's going to make life a lot easier. So yeah. Anyway, just thought I'd show that. Another scary build. And I'll bring you back. Cheers.